Hey everybody, welcome to the course. Before we get started, I want to have a quick chat with you to help you determine if this is the correct course for you. I want to ask you a few questions. Are you on a budget? Or are you a do-it-yourselfer who's a bit intimidated by the process of signing up for a web hosting plan? Are you intimidated by installing WordPress yourself? Are you starting from scratch? And are you tight on time? Are you in need of a web hosting plan but are unsure of how to sign up? Have you determined that WordPress is the best platform suitable for your needs? If you answered yes to most of these questions, then this course is most likely a good fit for you. And just to give you a little background on this course, I occasionally get small businesses and individuals who approach me and tell me they want a website and they want to build it themselves so that they can save money and learn the process. They don't completely understand web hosting, but they know it's something they need to have. And they ask me how to get started. They've usually heard about how awesome WordPress is, but they're intimidated at the thought of installing it. And that's who this course is intended to help. Okay, I also want to take a moment to discuss what this course is not, because that is equally as important as what it is. This course is not intended to show you how to fully customize your WordPress website. It's not a course about WordPress design. This is a course to help you through the unavoidable steps necessary before you get into heavy WordPress design. After I walk you through the WordPress installation process, I do show you some very basic things about the WordPress dashboard, but I don't go into detail about customizing a particular theme or setting up your plugins. This course is designed to get those starting from scratch through the preliminary steps of getting their hosting plan and WordPress installation ironed out. This course is kept short so as not to be overwhelming, and this course is designed to get you up and running quickly. Now, however, at the end of the course, I do point you in the direction of a reliable source to help you design your WordPress website. Last thing, if you don't want to deal with signing up for web hosting and installing WordPress, I'd recommend you check out my other course called Easier Than WordPress, Design Your Business Website. It offers an alternative to WordPress that's more simple, but it does have some limitations. Alright, let's get started.